Hello guys, this is Gabriel Roberts from Roberts Bushcraft. Out here in my military poncho in the yard today, beautiful sunshine. Have you ever wondered why there is a spot for your head in the poncho and not the poncho liner? Stick around, you'll find out why. All right, finished side of the poncho is facing up. So this would be the side that the rain would be hitting if you're wearing this. And what you're gonna wanna do, you have the pull cord right here. You're going to want to twist this thing, roll it up, nice and good, loosen this thing up, go ahead and fit it around it, kind of just going to make a little bunch right here, and you just pull these cords nice and tight, and it kind of creates just a good little seal right there, just to kind of seal off the ring because there's really no great solution for that but this is one of the one of the better ways we found so go ahead and do that to start off with on the finished side we're going to flip this thing over and put the poncho liner on all right guys what we're going to go ahead and do now we're going to lay this poncho liner out which is exactly the same dimensions as this poncho so you shouldn't have any problems lining it up and all you do, fold this out like this. Then you lay it out on here. It has these tie pull cords. Well, not pull cords, but these little, just pieces of string, kind of like shoelaces in a way. You tie those on to each grommet. There's grommets in the middle and on the corners. What we do is just like a little shoelace tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this thing out. And uh, just for demonstration down here, you take this cord, go through the grommet, nice and tight here. Just a little shoelace tie, and then there you go. Then you do that all around. One's at the top. So there's ones at the corners and the center of every, each side on this thing which is really good, it keeps it nice and tight during the night. It's not gonna move all around on you. Guys, this system is very quick. At a max, it might take you three minutes to get this whole thing set up if you're welding pretty quick. So, neat thing about this, you, if you're not going to be using, so if you're using this as your main system of, like your, uh, this is what you're going to be sleeping in for a couple of nights. Bedroll. Yep. And you're not going to be expecting a whole lot of rain or anything as you're going. You could keep this like it is tied on and just roll it up like that just mentioned in a little bed roll and then just attach that to the bottom of your pack or inside or what have you then there you go so you don't have to do this every night but if this is your only rain protection that you brought with you i would definitely untie it every night just in case if you do hit that inclement weather And uh, again, not too hard, just time. Oh, I think I've got one more right here. I didn't get, and that should be all of them after I tie this one. Alright, and there you go. Nice and tied out. And as you can see, there is no hole in the center of that for your head. Here's the real trick. So now what we're gonna do is fold this thing over and button it. And this is how you get your your actual bed roll or well, your your sleeping bag look here. Fold it over and we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and fold it. There we go. Nice and easy. And then we're just gonna actually 
I'm going to start at the foot and come up since this is where you actually be entering in. And uh, what you do, you have these button snaps. Then you have the button snaps on this. And now for, you need to take in consideration what side of the bag you're doing or what side of the poncho you're going to be getting in on because you want this to flap over so the rain runs off. So you wouldn't want to attach this like that because rain would run into your shelter. You want to come over and attach it like that so rain runs off. Again, buttons on each side, button on the outside. And then there you go. And one thing I don't like about this system, there's no button snaps on the feet and there's no button snaps on the head. So like whatever way you're going, there's not gonna be button snaps at the top of the bottom. So that's that's the downside of this system, but it is what it is. It's gonna act as both a poncho and a sleeping system. So. Again guys, very minimalistic, very simple system going on here. This is probably the minimum of what I would carry out. I wouldn't go any less than this. And even this, you might need to build up a little bit of a uh, debris shelter around it. So there you go, right down the side. Now what I like to do, I like to leave these two buttons open up here. So you have a little spot to enter in at. And what I'm gonna do is just take my boots off real quick and go ahead and get in this thing just to show you guys how it looks. And now what I like to do, just so you don't go stretching everything up, just you know, leave a hand back there just to make sure you're not pulling all this with you. And once you kind of get scooted down just right, kind of use your feet to work your poncho liner down. Get in, I like to go ahead and button up that fourth one back up just so uh, a little easier a little later. There we go. Then you uh, use uh, boots as a pillow. Or your helmet. Or your helmet. <laughs> there you have it. Then you just uh, snap the rest of these on down. So these right here. Oh, it's not poncho. Yep, and then we got one more. Up all the way up top. This is kind of more after you've kind of gotten in a little farther, gotten set. Go ahead and get this one. And then just lay down. And, uh, okay. <laughs> get your boots adjusted. Holds and heat barrier around the sunshine there. Got to say that. And as you see, I'm 6'2". My feet are almost out of this thing and my head is exposed. So short guys, you can get in this thing and cover up. Tall guys, you're gonna have to have a little something extra. And again, just kind of use your feet, work that poncho liner down. Use your toes, kind of get that poncho over you. Now, can you see my feet can come right at the bottom, but Show it again. So, let's push that down over you. Use your heels to work the poncho liner down. And there you go. Lay back and uh, go to sleep. In a lot of cases, you keep your boots on while you're sleeping inside of this. That's smart. But this is what it looks like when you put two together. And you see the hood over here. Nice and balled up, and no water is going to get in through there. So, works real good. You can even kind of work that under you a little more if you wanted to. And there you go. I would suggest building up a little debris shelter, especially for you taller guys out there like myself. 
little debris shelter to kind of break up that rain or wear uh, like dad said your helmet or uh, something like that just to kind of cover your face up a little bit or if you have another Cortex jacket or something throw it over your face just to keep the rain out of you but overall nice shelter very minimalistic and I mean I, I like how I like systems you know that you can use this as a sleeping system not necessarily as maybe not a first choice but in an emergency situation that could definitely work so there you go and again it does hold in heat pretty pretty well and uh, yeah it's pretty warm so there you go And the best part about this system is it's easy to break down. Just if you tie a little shoelace knot, shouldn't be too hard at all. And there you have it. Guys, now you know why this has a hole in it for your head and this does not. The main reason is these aren't intended to be worn together while you're walking. So it's meant to be combined as a sleeping shelter. And as that, I think it works pretty good. It's minimalistic and uh pretty simple and if you have both of them with you anyway it's a nice little emergency shelter all right guys so that was the video thank you for sticking around hopefully you learned something please like share and subscribe go ahead and leave a comment down below and as always may the wings of liberty never lose a feather and god bless